How's it going, people? It is the Hoth here, and today I figured I'd do a little something different. Today, we're going to go over my dream car, how I hope to achieve buying this. As you see, it's an Nissan GTR, and some of the things that I'm hoping will happen in the near future, and maybe y'all can help if you are willing to do so, and how you might be able to do something similar if you a YouTuber or someone that does something to make a little bit more money on the side besides your normal job to pay off your normal bills that you have for everyday expenses. So as you see here, we have a 2017 GTR. Granted, used one is going to be half that because that's 109,000, almost 110,000 miles. might as well just round the hell up and then add the taxes and stuff. It's going to be a lot of money. You can find them in good condition for 60, some you can get as low as 50 that have high mileage and stuff on them and are the first gen of this type of GTR with this motor and everything in it. The 17 has a new redesign of the face, interior and stuff like that, but the ones before it were pretty much all the same with minor little upgrades here and there, but nothing major. This is the one that has a little refresh in the styling of the uh, front facial and on the interior, but this is a really good proven car, horsepower, all-wheel drive, and a few other features on it. So, the thing I'm hoping is that eventually this channel will take off a little bit, and I will start making a little bit more money, because right now on average I get about 30 to 50 cent a day sometimes. On a good day, I can make a little bit more, maybe 80 cents. But where you guys come in is watching videos like this and not skipping the ads. YouTube plays an ad. As long as it ad plays for, I believe it's over 15 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, you get the money from it if they don't skip it. Some ads are unskippable, but most of the time if it's a longer ad, it's going to be able to be skipped within the first five seconds, which means they don't get anything from it. If you really want to help then you can go ahead and click on the link for the ad. That also helps generate money. Now you can do this for anyone you like on YouTube. It doesn't even have to be me. But the thing is, the more my channel grows, yes, this is one of my ultimate things I'd love to own. I see other people like Roman Atwood and there's uh, TJ Hunt had one and uh, Mike with his tuner crate, he has one, and uh, was it Tanner Fox, little kid, has one. I mean, this kid, he has one going to high school, and I'm working a full time job and can't even get one because I'm paying bills and everything else. And this kid's buying one, and he's still in high school. It's like, wow. So, hopefully, I can get up to that level one day, but mainly, my thing is if I focus and y'all try to help me get this. It's going to allow me to bring better videos to y'all with giveaways. Now, what I mean by that is you help me by watching my videos, subscribing, not clicking off off the and skipping all the ads. As my subscriber base grows, I will be able to to do more giveaways as you guys watch more of my videos and I get more view counts, more companies are going to work with me to give you guys stuff. And the things I'm going to give away could be virtually anything. I mean, I could be giving away Amazon gift cards in the future when I see fit based off of my subscriber base growing. I have companies that are willing to work with me for PC parts to give away, whether it's video cards, processors, motherboards, and eventually whole computers. I'll give you giving away tech stuff. So I'll be looking into giving away your popular cell phones from the Galaxy lineup of Samsung to the new iPhone 8 if I can get enough subscriber based. I have companies willing to work with me on that. I've told you guys this before. So, you know, you work with me, I'll work with y'all, and we'll make this shit fantastic. So let's go over some of the features of this amazing car. First of all, there's a bunch of colors. I ain't worried about that. We'll just leave it in the orange. I'm going to go with all black, black interior. But let's say why this car 
is as awesome as it is for the price it is because this car made by most other any other company that's like Lamborghini, Ferrari, you get a lot of features you get from those companies in this car. It might be a little bit bigger than them companies and what they make their cars, but the body lines on this is specifically designed in a wind tunnel to have less wind resistance than almost every car on the market. That's why this car is as big as it is. It gives you the space. Your trunk has plenty of space in the trunk for all your needs, but yet this car will go down the quarter mile. I want to say now it's 11.6 if it's not the Nismo edition. Did you see they said rear design rear side skirts and front end so it all was redesigned a little bit but the front end is what i mostly seen these are hand built and inspected there's a new interior so this right here is a little different you still have the controls down there to put it in sport mode your button was moved because i believe the button was back here and now your start button's moved up there you still keep the paddle shifters down here Steering wheel was changed a little bit, adding more controls off to the side here, making them more a little, little more elegant here with this photo, but I'd go with the black interior myself. And it says decades to perfect things you touch. You see there it is in white with the black for the steering wheel. Still going to go all black. And then this is an awesome feature multi-function display that was designed by the same guys that create the game Gran Turismo. You get a custom view for your boost and when I say custom view I mean you can go ahead and not have boost here. You can put boost over here, engine over here, engine temp over here, whatever you want. You design it how you want it to look. As you see here, 4 shows you that there's 3 of the views on top and three on bottom, five's the same way. Essentially, you just pick which ones you want, and then you hit up here. It's a touch screen. So it's going to give you real-time data, and there's numerous things. You can get the G-forces. You got the boost, the engine oil temp, the engine oil pressure, and it's everything that most people would normally buy extra gauges for to see. You can put that on the multifunction display while you have your radio playing in the background really awesome in my opinion i think a lot of higher end cars should have it that don't already have it because you're paying a lot of money sometimes for cars and this car does it and it's around a hundred and ten thousand and this car gives you all this and you got cars coming out from other companies that they just give you a digital display for your miles per hour and some of them will now even do the tachometer for it because they claim that the car is so fast the tack can't keep up. So there you see it again. The, they call it the display commander now. It's a multi-function display. What it was before. They started having one of these inside of the GTR 34. As you've seen the one that Paul Walker would normally drive in the Fast and Furious movies. But that one wasn't touchscreen. It had controls. This one has some touchscreen features on it, from what I understand. And as you see, there's one, two, three, four, and five up here with uh, another display, I guess, to just show one of yours at a time. And then over here, you have same dials as what's been on these GTR 35s. You got miles per hour down here. It calculates the miles you have left for um, different things. And then you have parking. It shows you that you're in park right now because this car has a dual clutch transmission. You have the option of putting it in manual mode or you have the option of putting it in drive where you drive it yourself. And you just drive it and the car shifts itself. Manual mode, you're shifting up and down. The dual clutch has one of the gears in what you're at and it has usually the gear of the next gear up to make your shift super quick it's one of the fastest shifting cars when shifting up into the next gear now when shifting down yes there's a slight delay 
But apart from that, amazing. Here it is in black. And I mean, if you're concerned or you think that I am just spouting off whatever, that I, I'm just trying to get money, no, I really want this car bad look. Yes, that you see, this has been my background for the longest time. It was a background on my other computer. I want one of these cars. I love the rims on this one because they have a carbon fiber look. I don't know if they're actually carbon fiber. It's got exhaust. It's got carbon fiber in the back here. It's got carbon fiber lip right here below. The spoiler is right there. All this is specifically designed in the wind tunnel and every piece has a purpose. And as you've seen, their engines, they're expensive. I forget how much, I, I could be wrong, but I think someone said it was like 35 grand just for the engine alone, because they're hand-built engines. There's a video you can find on YouTube. I found it on YouTube, I think it was posted to Facebook, that shows the engines being hand-built in a special facility, and these guys are like doctors for engines. And they give the engine a full once over building it up. And that's part of the reason why these cars cost so much is because the care they take in the motor. This is a 3.8 liter motor, but it's not like my 3.7 liter motor that's sitting out there in the Nissan 370 or the Infiniti G37X. This is specifically designed, I mean, look at this. It has twin turbos and it is 3.7 liters and it comes up to 565 horsepower with the twin turbo and 467 foot-pounds of torque. That is pretty beefy for a six-cylinder. And this engine can handle more. People have been getting up in the 2000s with this motor. Just upgrading internals, making sure they upgrade the transmission so it can handle it. And they go ahead and upgrade a few other things to make sure nothing's going to break when they throw that much horsepower out of it. And next thing you know, they're getting seven seconds and a quarter mile. High sevens, but the, I've heard people getting sevens. It's ridiculous. Ridiculously awesome. So, I mean, here's just some of the features of it. The Tamiyan exhaust you can get for it, but I'm probably going to swap out the exhaust if I was able to get one for Army Tricks exhaust because it sounds way better and it has the ability to quiet the exhaust when you're going around your neighborhood and then you can open up the valve to have the exhaust um, come through. So you have a way to open up the exhaust, come through, it quiets it down a little bit. Then you close it off at that point to dump it and it makes it louder but it also gives you better performance. So that's the purpose behind it. It's not just to change how loud it is. It's giving you better performance. And then you can even have it where some gets dumped, some comes through. So you get a little bit of performance and it's not quite as loud. See, it's just the world of transmissions. Oh, there you go. And just 0.15 seconds. 0.15 seconds. When in the race mode or R mode, I believe the R stands for race. You can't even shift faster than that normally when you're doing manual transmission. Now, granted, when you're on the highway and it's shifting down, it takes a while. But when it has the gear, it's 0.15 seconds. And that is when it's going from like first to second, second to third, stuff like that. It has the gear selected. Now, when it's having to go down, that gear is having take if you're say you're in third gear it has fourth gear selected but then it needs to go back down to second gear it's going to take a bit that's where you get a little bit of lag but it ain't much when you're thinking about other cars and how you have to manually go ahead and shift it still is not that bad and then you got dual climate here that you can see I mean, this thing is a supercar, as it says right there, and it sculpts the wind. Like I said, this car was built for aerodynamics. They put it in the wind tunnel, they built it, and when they had this car on Top Gear, and I'm not talking about this new crappy Top Gear, I'm talking about with 
uh, Jeremy Clarkson driving this car. He ended up getting whiplash. That's how powerful this thing was and how much fun he had driving the GTR when it first was released. He got whiplash. It's out there on YouTube. You can go ahead and find the video. They took him to the hospital and worked on him because he was stiff, couldn't move, hurt, his, hurt himself. It is a fun car in every aspect. So, I mean, this is just the overview. But basically, all I'm saying is this is hopefully my goal one day is to own one of these. While they're still new in production, my wife ended up having us with a Toyota Supra. Loved it. Sadly, had to get rid of it. But hopefully, I can get one of these and not have to get rid of it. And the only thing I'm asking is if you guys could just not skip the ads, share out for other people to join the channel. And go ahead and watch my videos. If you have any comments, suggestions for me, you know, leave them in the videos. I do read them. I generally respond to most of them, making sure if it's a good comment or something. If it's bad comment, you know, I delete it. Or if it's uh, spam, I delete those. So other than that, you know, I'm pretty good on responding. You could check out. A lot of my videos I usually respond or I'll direct message someone if it's help with uh, certain issues people have and they need some kind of help. Some people I just directly message because it's going to be a back and forth conversation helping them out. So as always, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll have another video up soon dealing with the Echo B4 install and box and review and y'all get to see that should be amazing with the uh, Amazon Alexa in it and the features that that has. And then hopefully I can work on getting some more giveaways. If you guys got any interesting things you think that my channel could be giving away or something you'd like to see from me and my channel, by all means, post it in the comment below. And please don't forget to hit the like button. And like I said, Thank you all for watching.